Yeah, this is another video of taking every team to the Super Bowl. We got the Bengals still. Um, we're still undefeated, 4 0. Packers are 3 1. Cincinnati Bengals and no run back on the opening kickoff it'll come out two to 25 Burrow now off the bootleg flush to his right that one almost intercepted but it's incomplete not a good throw there and it'll be second down so following the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 25. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Burrow on play action. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Adrian Amos with a pick. And the Packers are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 43. Throwing to start the drive. Rodgers. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. To throw is Rodgers. Going for Stephon four again, but it is intercepted. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. That's a pick six. Pass for 20. That's and they will bring it back. It's a pick six for Bengals TV. back-to-back -back weeks now with a pick six for him. He had one a week ago. Talk about being in the groove and what are the odds of what we're seeing right here? You don't see it happen very often. Listen, if you get a pick six in a season, it's been a big year, let alone back-to-back -back weeks. I'll tell you this, I wouldn't play cards against this guy in the locker room. <laughs> so they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Rodgers on the return. <laughs> And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. Trying to oh get my to God. Come, it's intercepted. Cheetah Ray Aluzier with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for the Bengals TD. in the National Football League, there's a good example of why. Shows that they set an aggressive tone, not just stopping the run, not just getting after the quarterback, but the ball's in the air. They treat it like they're the receivers, and they went after that one and took it all the way. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. So they'll get another shot on offense following that kick six, and now the kick is away. Rodgers on the return. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. The numbers on the ground for Jones last week. 18 carries, 61 yards, and a touchdown. But watching the film, we saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to them early and often, in hopes of breaking down the defense so some bigger gains result as the game goes on. Meanwhile, Rodgers' throw here pulled in by Lazard. 
And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. It'll be a 39-yard punt, four on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and ten. The Bengals drive about to get going. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they do the interception and finish off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Yeah. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Two minutes to play. First half. It's 14 to nothing. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. The last drive, remember, in a similar situation, he forced the ball in the coverage through the pick. He learned better there. Yeah, similar to a golfer that's confronted with a shot that you just can't make. Sometimes you have to take your medicine, as they say, right? Just pull it down, take off, and go. Don't make something worse than what it was. Dumps it off to Mixon. And this carry brought to an end at the 8. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Burrow will throw. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catch, And this is going to be intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And the Packers are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're in the first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. To throw on second and ten. Rodgers, his throw incomplete. That was not a real confident throw right there. And he's just two of seven to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's see if his confidence can increase. Yeah, that's not going to get ball. it done. He'll come up real short at first at about the 21. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is set away. Now fair catch is called for and taken at the, we'll call it the 37-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. And the Bengal offense going to see the ball one more time in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They'll rifle this from deep right side. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. To throw again on second down. Burrow escaping the pressure right. They'll go in from Jefferson downfield. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. On third down, Burrow. And that incomplete nearly intercepted. And remember, he had his hands on one earlier, had one pick. Could have been his second, but instead, it's fourth down. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. And he gets up near the 25 to about the 24 before going out of bounds. With the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. An abbreviated halftime show as we get rolling to quarter three.
Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The Packers set to get the football first, and they are trailing on the scoreboard as we resume action, ready for the third quarter. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start calling back, they've got to start putting more pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Now a first down carry by Jones. Finding room to the 20. And finally down at the nine-yard line. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside. Now look at Rodgers. Lost the football. And the Bengals grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He was under duress, surveying, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. In, in the meantime, the defense, they took it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Final minute now of the third quarter. They go play action with Burrow. And that's going to be caught. T. Higgins. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. And how about the rapport that these two had last year as rookies? Exactly what the Bengals had in mind when they made Joe Burrow the first round pick and T. Higgins the second. Out to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. He's got it. Touchdown, Bengals. Travis Kelsey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 21 to 10. So that drive, four plays. And it ends with a Bengals score. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this game. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Uh, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Before they can snap it, time runs out on this third quarter of play. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They're going deep downfield for Boykin. He's got a man complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big play that time through the air. 38 yards. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. He'll drop this underneath for Jones. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll be a second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Rodgers throw complete here on target to Tunyon. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Rodgers to throw once more. Complete to Jones. It'll be a gain of five. And it'll bring up a second down. To throw, it's Rodgers. That's complete right side to Lazard. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. 
Shotgun now for Rodgers. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Throwing now is Rodgers. Oh, that miss sack. This one swung out here to Jones. Oh, my and God. He loses the football. And this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bounce or two there. They'll keep possession. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Miles Boykin, his first touchdown on the year. And the Packers are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So two scores down. Time definitely not an ally. But here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Maybe they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Mixon. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. And they go play action now. Burrow rolling to his right. Looking downfield for Kelsey. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. That one looks like he'll throw here. Dancing to his left. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. But that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Third and goal, Burrow. Now he's going to have to eat this one as down. He's still one more fighting on me. Like, it's exciting. So this one from the win column.